Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Love Island The Game 2, X in the Villa. If you're new here, my name is Leia and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. Yes. Before we get into that, in my last video, I told you guys that I was part of the parade partner program and I was waiting for some stuff. So I wanted to show you guys real quick what I got. So real quick, I got... So I got this bodysuit. It's the Lux Triangle Bodysuit in the color Sweet Pea. It is part of the Sexy Silky Mesh collection. Show you guys. Got these thick straps. There's no, you know, like snaps or clips or bands at the end. The material see it's somewhat mesh it's a double line though so I got that and then I got the logo scoop bralette in the color latte it's part of the lush rib pop collection it's a limited edition Let's see if you guys can see the rib detailing in it and the band is thick as well. And this is what the back looks like. And then to match with that, I got the logo boy short and latte as well. And I'm not going to hold you guys. These are soft, like, so soft, like, so soft, and so comfortable, like, so comfortable, like, I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. And then as a free gift, they threw in this pretty scarf that just says parade on it. And yeah, so I got those goodies. Again, you can save 20% off on your order if you use my code Love Me Differently. Linked on the side, also in the description box. Save you some coins. I mean, you won't be disappointed. Not only that, I got for you guys, it also came with two. $10 gift cards. So if you would like a one of these, just comment down below. The first two commenters who say they want this, we gonna get in touch, all right? And y'all gonna get these gift cards. So yeah, parade. Everything will be linked down in the description. I'll put the website also. And all that good stuff. Yeah, 20% off. All that good stuff. Now, previously <laughs> on episode 27, it just was a hot mess. Like, it just was a hot mess. You know, Gabby coming in. We had them speed dates. Um, Nicholas, the date was, I like the date with Nicholas. The other two, not so much. Pete is interested in Arlo. Johnny, I don't know. Then you got Gabby. I don't know how I feel about that. I just, I don't know. Today might also be the day that I decide to change my hairstyle because I'm seeing people post pictures of other kinds of hairstyles and I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna go check to see what's going on with that. So yeah, let's hop right on into it. Love Island The Game 2, X in the Villa, episode 28. Let's go. All right. Now, like I said, let's go check out the hairstyle, see if we could switch up my hairstyle, see if we find anything that fits my character. So let's go ahead and check that out. See what we got here. We, got, we definitely got some new hairstyles, but these are geared towards 
Halloween. Yeah, these are geared towards Halloween. Um, as far as the regular hairstyles, that's what I mean. Like, I'm still not feeling any of these. Like, you know, trying them all on my character, it just, it's not hitting for me. Ew, what the hell? Okay, they are locks. Are those locks? They look like locks to me. Or just braids? I'm not sure. I mean, this looks okay. This is, this is kind of cute. I mean, this is cute. I don't know, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I might just leave it as is, cause these aren't hitting for me. Like, as much as my regular hairstyle. These all just look funny on my girl. This is the only one that look nice. This one's okay. And then these are all the Halloween ones. This one's cute. I, I see what people are talking about. On Twitter, I seen someone say that this hairstyle was cute. But if they can put the hairstyle without the crown, which I, I get it. Yeah, this hairstyle is cute. Oh, that's cute. But again, these are geared towards Halloween. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I I don't know. Hold on, let me put that hairstyle back on because they're making it seem like they're going to keep that. I, yeah, I guess it, it didn't work for us. So we're just going to get out of this. And episode 28, getting hot in here. A game of raunchy races raises the temperatures in the villa. Welcome back to Love Island, where Gabby just started to spill the beans over her relationship with Suresh. Oh yeah, that's right. At the end, Gabby confessed that it wasn't a one night stand, that it was actually a relationship that her and Suresh had. I expressly instructed the date team not to serve beans on dates. There's enough hot air in the villa already. Maybe Gabby packed her own beans. She clearly brought enough baggage. But what's she really been up to with Suresh? Let's find out. Excuse me? I wanted to tell you earlier, but it never felt like the right time. Wait, you're not joking. You and Suresh were actually a couple? How serious were you? We were like a full-on thing. He had a toothbrush at my place. O-M-G. A toothbrush is like four steps away from a proposal. Everyone turns to face you and Gabby. Gabby and Suresh were a full-on thing, like a couple, like an actual thing. Why am I not even surprised? Popcorn, anyone? Well, I wanted to tell Jasmine privately, but I guess Kat's taking that out of my hands. Gabby looks at you apologetically before addressing everyone. Me and Suresh started dating after he broke up with Jasmine. We were boyfriend and girlfriend. I need to sit down. Oh wait, I already am. Can everyone stop piling in for a second? How soon after we broke up did you start dating? I didn't even know you existed until way after we started dating. I just don't get why he'd never tell me this. I buy toothbrushes in bulk that I just leave at girls' houses all the time. It's not that deep. Maybe Gabby is just trying to get under your skin. Why would she come in and lie about this though? It doesn't make sense. Honestly, I have no idea why he never told you. Maybe he was just worried you'd be upset. What do you think, Jasmine? Do you think Gabby and Suresh were seriously a couple? I just need a moment to think. I just need a moment to think. You do seem like a genuine girl. I just felt I should tell you sooner rather than later. I still need some time to properly process this. Until Suresh is here, there's no point overthinking it. This is a chat you three need to have alone. You mean us four? I would have missed that chat for the world. They won't need any air con in Casa more. This Suresh sounds cold enough. Bit soon, Nicholas. Jasmine is upset. Yeah, Nicholas, this is serious. Seriously juicy goss. Did Suresh talk about Jasmine at all whilst you were dating? 
It's complicated. At the start, he never even mentioned you existed. Really? But then he started talking about you towards the end. Said he was over you, that he was all about me. But hearing how he's been flirting with you, I wonder if he was ever over you. Suresh flirts with everyone. Pretty sure I saw him getting a little cheeky with Finn. Reminds me of this DJ in Basildon. Once me and the girls. Please, Kat, this isn't the time for another Basildon related story. So, are you thinking of giving Suresh another go, Jasmine? No way. That ship has sailed. After hearing about this, that ship has sailed. I feel sorry for the girl that does... What are you doing? I feel sorry for the girl that does give him a second chance, but it won't be me. So you and him are absolutely finished then? He's still trying to convince me otherwise, but I know my worth. Me and him are over. Did somebody say three new boys? Ew, I'm so done with Suresh. Two new boys, Arlo, and one new man. I'm a different beast entirely. Arlo and Pete laugh with each other. I'm just glad the truth is out. I hope it doesn't come between us, Jasmine. Yep, better to clear the air. Great, shall we wait until Suresh is back before you guys have this chat then? I'ma let it go for now. I mean, Suresh has to be there for this. I agree, this is a talk we need to have with Suresh. For now, let's just move on. Um, hello, I got a front row ticket to this drama. You can't cancel the show now. I think it's called Being a Bigger Person. Kat, you should look it up. Yawn, you pronounced being a boring person wrong, sweetie. So, how did you and Suresh break up, Gabby? Did he cheat on you too? Gabby looks awkwardly to the floor. We were going great. I was falling for him. Maybe I already had. He said he was ready to commit. Then one day, he just left. Never returned my calls, never explained why. That's terrible, Gabby. That sounds like Suresh, all right. So obviously, I jumped at the opportunity to come here. So, are you here to tell Jasmine the truth and get some answers? Or are you here to try and win Suresh back? Gabby looks at you awkwardly until a phone pings, cutting the silence short. I've got a text! Islanders, it's time to compete with Casa Amor in today's game of raunchy races. The winning villa will have a party tonight. Hashtag need for speed. Hashtag ready, steady, graft. Phew, that was getting too tense for me. Bring on the races. Gabby stands quietly next to you, putting on her makeup. Dana tries to break the silence. Oh, snap. Gabby got this sexy bikini. Well, not even a bikini. Got this sexy one-piece suit on. She looking good. Wowzers, trousers. I cannot believe it's raunchy races. I'm going to go grab an iced coffee real quick. I'll show you my special technique. You have to stir the milk clockwise. Two sugars for me. Dana and Gabby leave the room in a fizz of excitement. Right, I know we're all thinking it, but you two are clearly not going to say it. Thinking what? Gabby is only here to jump back on the Suresh Express, right? She avoided that question like the plague when you asked her, Jasmine. Unsure, only time will tell. If she is here for Suresh, she wouldn't make moves until he's back anyway. Exactly, that's why she's getting flirty with Dana. She wants to stay in the villa until he comes back. You've really thought about this, haven't you, Kat? Not just a pretty face, babes. It's a tough situation. I do like Gabby, though. She seems lively and so sexy. So, is that what you're wearing for raunchy races, Jasmine? Kat and Arlo look at each other disappointedly. You're really channeling that Auntie Jasmine energy, aren't you? Really? Look, I know why you're dressing like a 17th century milkmaid. They were just telling me this outfit was nice. Now you're telling me I look like a 17th century milkmaid? Really? What are you talking about, Kat? Look, Dana and Gabby are clearly getting closer. The boys are getting up to who knows what over. What? The boys are getting up to who knows what over in Casa. And maybe you want to keep things low key with everything up in the air. But now's the time to get yourself front and center. 
you need to wear the sexiest outfit you can and get the spotlight back on you. And maybe catch one of the new boy's eyes, but not Pete's, yeah? You should remind yourself too that you're still the second hottest girl here. So you need to dress up in a naughty number and get cracking on with these new boys. So let's get you out of these clothes and try on something more eye-catching. I'm tired of seeing all this wasted potential. Oh, wow. I like this. I've changed my mind. Maybe don't wear that in front of Pete. You look next level. This is so you, and it's a statement none of those boys can ignore. Yes. Dana and Gabby come bursting back into the room giggling. Does anyone know where the clean mugs are? They both stop at the side of you in your outfit. Well, they both stop at the side of you in your outfit, staring in awe. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Is that what you're wearing for raunchy races? She's not decided yet for some reason. Seriously, babe, you won't top that. Do you think so? I honestly can't take my eyes off you. You look beyond stunning. Please tell me you're going with that. I want to see what other options they have. I just want to see. No, I'm going to wear something else. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some new, but these are Halloween. Yeah, these are Halloween style. These are some dope Halloween costumes. The, oh my gosh. This is 70 gems. They are bugging. This is cute. These are some nice Halloween costumes, but they're bugging with them gem prices, 70 gems. Like what? That's what everybody was complaining about. Oh, we still got this nice number. I don't know. I really like that one above, but 20 gems though. I really like this. Though. I think I'm gonna go with this. Let's see what earrings we're gonna wear. What earrings? I think the gold ones would be nice. Um, I don't know in terms of a necklace. I might not put a necklace on. She look kind of bare without a necklace. Oh, we got some new shoe. Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, that was the only new shoe we got. Damn, I don't know then what to wear with this one. Yeah, these shoes aren't really looking. I mean, I could wear the tan ones. I think I'm gonna put these tan ones on. All right, check out 30 gems. I think we look good. And yeah. I wouldn't let you go near Finn in that outfit. It's so tasty. The girl's not in agreement. I'm glad you all like it. I like evening walks and fridges that don't freeze my Gouda. I love this. You look at yourself in the mirror and pose confidently. Is everyone dressed? I can't wait any longer. Arlo, get you. These new guys have really turned you up a level. Well, it's about time I started getting what I want in here. Arlo pouts at you. That is such a mood, Arlo. Let's get out of here. Cat runs off to the fire pit quickly, followed by other girls. You and the girls stand by the fire pit waiting for the boys to arrive. These boys take longer to get ready than us. They're probably discussing their game plan for raunchy races. Girls, we forgot to do that. Quick, before they get here, where are we all at? I'm into Pete. You never mentioned that before. Harlow laughs. It's not the boys I'm interested in. Good to know. Dana gives Gabby a cheeky wink. Obviously, I'm staying loyal to Finn. No idea why. What about you, Jasmine? Are you putting your name on any of the newbies? Nicholas is ticking some boxes. Nicholas is ticking some of my boxes. 
I saw you guys hitting it off on your date. Yeah, we had a fun chat. I felt like I really got to know him. I got him to answer some saucy questions. Cheers, cat. You're welcome, babe. You're welcome for what? It's our, lead it's our little secret. The new boys are hot, but they lack something. Finesse. The new boys bounce over from the kitchen. What do we lack, cat? Certainly not abs, babe. I hope you're all ready to have a bit of fun in this challenge. Especially you, Jasmine. You look gorgeous in that outfit. Can't wait. Pete gets a text. I got a text. Islanders, in today's challenge, you will be competing against Casa Amor. You will receive identical instructions. Whoever completes the challenge first will win a point. The villa with the most points at the end will be rewarded with a party tonight. Hashtag early night for some. Hashtag party points. Villa party. Let's get it. Bring it on. Let's go, Villa. Cat gets a text. I got a text. The boy with the longest hair give the girl he finds sexiest a smooch on the neck. Nicholas runs over to you, a saucy smile on his face. May I? Let Nicholas kiss you on the neck. You may. Nicholas lowers his lips onto your neck and gives you a flurry of passionate yet gentle kisses. You've got a gentle touch. I'm good with hands as well, Jasmine. The full package. Finn has the longest hair, doesn't he? Shame it wasn't Suresh. Being kissed on the neck was his favorite. Was it? It was when I did it. You and Gabby exchange a tense moment of eye contact. Dana gets a text. Casa Moore wins. Everyone boos. Guess these new guys just aren't as fast as our old boys in Casa Moore. Yeah, come on boys, pick it up. Arlo gets a text. The strongest girl sucked the toe of the boy you fancy the most. Arlo prances towards Pete energetically. I'm a semi-pro boxer. Let me have this one, girls. Some of the girls grimace at her enthusiasm. Better you than me. Arlo drops down and sucks Pete's big toe for a few seconds. Pete makes an engine noise as she does. Whoa, you do not hold back. What was that noise you were making, Pete? Sorry, yeah, I make an engine noise when I'm being pleasured sometimes. Didn't expect you to say that. I've heard stranger things. The Islanders laugh. So if we got woken up tonight thinking they're mowing the grass, it's just you and Arlo on the daybeds. That's kind of hot. Arlo and Pete share a little peck on the cheek. Johnny gets a text. Villa wins. Everyone cheers. You two were so fast. Yay, our first point. It was those engine noises. They must have sped up Arlo. Look like you enjoyed that, Arlo. You should do it. Come on, before the next challenge. Do what? The first boy to kiss Jasmine's big toe gets to kiss her on the lips, if she's up for it. That sounds like my kind of challenge. Normally, I start with the lips and end with the toes, but we can try it this way. That's hilarious. Are you actually going to do it, Jasmine? Looks like it might lead to a kiss on the lips as well. I'm a pass. I'm not about all that foot stuff. Don't get me wrong, that sounds hilarious, but let's focus on the challenge. We have plenty of time until the next challenge. Come on. Yeah, I thought you'd be up for a bit of a laugh, Jasmine. Major disappointment. Your sexy toe has gotten Johnny and Nicholas thirsty. Sure it doesn't sound fun? And it might lead to a bit of a lip action too. Let's focus on the challenge. I'm normally up for a laugh, but I don't want to lose this party tonight. I'm sure there would ha I'm sure there would have been time, but I appreciate your commitment to the party. I got all excited over nothing there. Yeah, me too. I mean, me too. Two new boys willing to crawl around after Jasmine, just how she likes it. What does that mean, Arlo? 
Nothing. Come on, girls. Not now. I got a text. Gabby's text cuts the tension between you and Arlo. Girls, get into your go-to sex position with a new islander of your choice. Pete and Arlo immediately jump down into Doggy. Dana and Gabby fly into 69 whilst Kat grabs Nicholas into reverse cowgirl. Johnny runs over to you. Come on, Jasmine. It's me and you. What position are you into? Missionary, let's be quick. There's no time. Johnny, quickly, let's just go with missionary. You jump back onto the floor and Johnny gently nestles on top of you laughing. Missionary is genuinely one of my fave positions. It's like margarita pizza. Simple, but tasty. Arlo gets a text. The villa wins! You all jump up and cheer. Let's keep this momentum going, guys. We're not losing this party. I like this competitive side, Arlo. Come to one of my fights. Last time I lost, I didn't speak to my trainer for a week. Did you just invite me to one of your fights? I'll be there. You two are such a power couple already. And you both got into Doggy in like half a millisecond. Soulmates, Pete and Arlo, Parlo. Parlo is so cute. Don't you think they're the newest power couple, Jasmine? Not if I have anything to do with it. They're not as cute as me and him will be when I make my move. Well, I didn't think that was going to go in the direction of me making a move on Pete. I'm standing right here, you know? I know. I can see you. I like seeing you two fight over me, especially you, Arlo. This isn't me fighting Pete. Pete grins smugly toward the other boys. Suddenly, Pete gets a text. The newbie with the biggest feet pick an islander to cover their body in kisses for 20 seconds. Feet again? Hey, don't knock it until you try it. Who do you think has the biggest feet at Casa? Finn, his feet are like two big canoes. Nicholas stands forward and grins at the girls. He looks at you and bites his lip. I choose Cat. Come here, gorgeous. Cat shakes her head. No, I'm all right, hon. Not about to digest the gallon of tanning oil I saw you lathering up with. Is that the real reason or is it because of Finn? Doesn't make a difference, babes. It's enough. Cat turns to you and Dana softly. Do you think Finn is getting covered in kisses right now? He's getting all the kisses. Finn will be loving getting kisses from the new girls. Bet he's having the time of his life. Just what I wanted to hear, Jasmine. Don't overthink it, it's only a challenge. Not being with him today has made me realize how deep my feelings are for him. Well, hopefully he's feeling the same way and you'll both come back single. Nicholas smarts with Kat's rejection. Well, that's a first for me. Never been rejected before. Wait until Eddie is back. He can tell you all about it. Oh, it won't happen again. Jasmine, I choose you. Show me those sexy abs. I'd never turn down an opportunity to kiss those abs. You bounce towards Nicholas and starts kissing his razor sharp abs. That looks ticklish. After 20 seconds, you stand and wipe your lips. Cat, you weren't wrong. That was oily. My lips are less oily. Maybe you can taste them later. You leave Nicholas and get back in line. Nicholas gets a text. Casa wins. Of course they won. We took forever sitting here deciding who was going to kiss his body. You all boo. Cat, you lost us that round. It's only a bit of fun. I'm not doing that to Finn. He clearly did it to you. Casa were faster. Cat pouts at a playful Nicholas. You get a text. I got a text. The girl who takes the least time to get ready give the newbie islander they find the most attractive a lap dance. This is me, girls. Dana spins around to face Gabby and gently leads her back onto the fire pit seating. Buckle up, cowgirl. I'm ready. Dana begins giving Gabby a lavishly sexy lap dance, her hips and waist snaking up and down Gabby's excited body. I don't know where to look. I can show you if you like. Go girl, slay. 
After a minute, Dana and Gabby stand and retake their positions around the fire pit. Sorry, everyone. I got a bit carried away there. Pete gets a text. Villa wins. You all hug and cheer. Right, no mucking up. Let's get this party. Dana gets a text. The tallest boy get down on one knee in front of the girl he thinks is wife material. Six foot three, sounds like a challenge for me. I didn't know they could measure the height of hot air so accurately. Cat seems distracted, looking off into the distance. Great, that's Finn again. If they win, I'll be fuming. After a moment, Nicholas drops down to one knee and gives Cat a respectful peck on the cheek. Looks like you could use a pick-me-up. No tanning oil worries this time. Didn't expect that. Got a rep in Basildon as a bit of a home wrecker, actually. Nicholas gets a text. Casa more wins. Everyone boos and jeers. That's because Nicholas wasted so much time trying to be all sexy. At least someone noticed. Arlo gets a text. Islanders, you and Casa Moore have scored the same amount of points. There will be a tie break round to determine the winner. Nominate one newbie to take part. Everyone looks around at each other. I've done quite a few already. I'm knackered. One of the others then. Yeah, let someone else have a go. Pete, why don't you do it? Yeah, go on, Pete. If you insist. Come on, you got this. Pete gets a text. Kiss the Islander you fancy the most. Pete looks between you and Arlo, pausing for a moment while he decides. Hurry up! Pete dives towards Arlo and they share a passionate snog. I thought I was pretty quick. Pete gets a text. Villa wins. Tonight you will have a party. Hashtag work hard, play hard. Hashtag Casa a snore. Get in there. As the Islanders celebrate, Nicholas and Johnny both come and hug you. Arlo notices and shoots you a weird look. Are we all right, Arlo? Yep, why wouldn't we be? You just seem off with me. Me? I don't think so. She's just annoyed because us new boys fancy you. Arlo glares at Nicholas. That's got nothing to do with it, but thanks for your input, Nicholas. The group goes quiet as you and Arlo look at each other. So what's up, Arlo? You won't like this, but it's the truth. You're just... Right, let's not do this in front of the new boys. Don't stop them. This is the most drama I've had since like two hours ago. Come on, private girls chat. All will be uncovered, I'm sure. Arlo reluctantly follows you girls away to the poolside. The boys watch on eagerly. Arlo pouts at you. Go on, Arlo. You were about to spill some major tea about Jasmine. I can't wait any longer. The suspense. I'm not good at hiding my emotions, girls, so sorry if I made it awkward back there. Don't be silly, Arlo. We all get like that sometimes. So, why did you get like that then? It's just, you were stepping on my toes when I was getting to know Suresh. I turned Suresh down last night. How many times? If Suresh flirts, that's on him, not me. Kat got the wrong idea about it. Yeah, I actually did. Saws, babe. Dana looks at you with genuine compassion. Well, it feels like you're stepping on my toes now. I'm getting to know Pete. Does it? And I honestly don't mind that. Competition is fine. I'll always win in the end. So what's the problem? I guess it's stunned how Suresh was clearly still into you despite being coupled up with me. I tried to front it out, but I could tell. And I guess I never knew where I stood. It sometimes feels like this whole villa revolves around you. And now you've literally got the new boys crawling after you. It was a challenge, Arlo. Yeah, just a bit of fun. I know that, I just wanna know where you stand. Are you gonna commit to anyone? Back off, Arlo. I think you need to back off, Arlo. You got no right getting in my business. The decisions I make are up to me and no one else. Or the decisions you don't make. Well, I just wanted to let you know how I feel. And you have done now, so let's move on. 
Dana's right. I honestly don't want any beef between us. Could have fooled me. It was just seeing you get all this attention. And me not knowing where I stand, that's all. You've made your point. We can't be falling out during Casa more. This is when we need each other the most. Agreed. Got it off my chest now. I've said my piece too. So that was like our little warm up conversation. Now for the main course. How annoyed should I be at Finn? Like throw all his clothes in the pool annoyed? Or never speak to him again and block him on all socials annoyed? It was only a challenge, Kat, like with me and Gabby. You all look around and realize Gabby isn't with you. So much for the girls only chat. Where is Gabby? Probably grafting the new boys while we're distracted. That's what I'd be doing. Maybe you and her should talk, Jasmine. Why me? The host of Rush thing earlier made her feel awkward. Perhaps you two could clear the air? Remember, us girls need to have each other's backs in here. I'll clear the air with Gabby. If you think it's for the best, I'll go clear the air with her. That's so sweet of you, Jasmine. Thank you. You're right. The girls sticking together is what's most important for now. Girls unite. Gabby runs towards you, waving something in her hand. I've got a postcard from Casa Moore, and you girls aren't going to like it. The girls stare at each other in shock. The new boys smirk excitedly from the fire pit. We were worried we'd put the wrong address on the postcard, so thank goodness for that. Wouldn't want some poor family opening that filth on their annual holiday. The postman sat in a darkened room trying to recover. Nice to have some company in my shed, though. But who's been enjoying some sexier company in Casa Amor? Find out next time on Love Island. All right, so that was episode 28. So we finished the dates. Um, find... Finding out that information from Gabby, like, that's really crazy. Like, that's, I don't even know what to say about that situation anymore. Like, we're always finding out something new about Suresh and whatnot. Um, I'm starting to warm up a little bit to Gabby. Um, maybe we just need to clear the air a little bit. But, yeah, I don't know. And then we had the raunchy races, and we won. The Villa won, of course. I thought we was going to lose it, but we won. Um, that was a pretty chill game. I thought I had something going on with Nicholas, but then during the challenge, he just was not really focused on me much, like going to CAD and all that other stuff. I don't know if he did that because I didn't mean to make it seem like I wanted to make a move on Pete. I didn't think that's where that would have led me. But yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then to have that cliffhanger where we get a postcard, like, I just, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know where this is going. I have no idea if I'm going to stick with Alfie or choose to couple up with someone else. Like, I just... I don't know right now. So yeah, that was Love Island the Game 2, X in the Villa, episode 28. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Join the fam. Don't forget two $10 gift cards. Comment down below. Use my code Love Me Differently. Check out at Parade for 20% off your entire purchase. By the time this video goes up, which is Friday, I'm not sure if it will still be 20 or 30. Either way, you're getting 20 or 30% off. Like, you can't beat that. So get you some comfortable, soft, good, sustainable quality clothes at Parade. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later.